Hi, this is Kelly with Books I'm Not Reading. I don't know why I'm having a really hard time making this video. I'm trying to talk about two different things and maybe they're not connected and I'm making them connected. I don't know. 20 years ago, um, a young man at the University of Wyoming named Matthew Shepard wandered into a bar, met two really, really terrible people um, who beat him to death and left him on a fence outside Laramie, Wyoming. I was actually a University of Wyoming student at the time, but that year I had chosen to um, study at Iowa State. So, but I, I felt very connected to Wyoming, I felt very connected to Laramie, and I was really surprised at um, finding out there was this whole other side to my community and I'm not talking about the fact that Matthew Shepard was gay. I'm talking about the fact that there were there were people there who were like this, who who would hurt someone in such a, a brutal way. Uh, more recently, I did read finally <laughs> Annie Prue's uh, close range Wyoming stories. And when it came out, I did wander into a bookshop or a library, and I just sat down somewhere and, and read Brokeback Mountain. I'm not sure Brokeback Mountain would have been written without Matthew Shepard, but again, like, I might be making a connection there that doesn't exist, but I do think Brokeback Mountain is by far and away the strongest story in this collection, the most important story, because it takes that iconic image of a, a cowboy, which is so, um, you know, surrounded by so much kind of masculinity and mystique kind of thing, like, that, um, it, it was the same sort of thing. It, it kind of shook it around and, and revealed this other side, um, this side of tenderness and, um, yes. However, having said that, the rest of this book is really about that other side of Wyoming. The side that I, I do know exists, but I feel like that's all she portrays in this collection. It's just too harsh, almost. Like, I feel like if you lived some, like if you had never been to Wyoming and you read this, you'd be like, oh my God, I am never going there. <laughs> like, like what a horrible place. Um, this really represents, I don't want to say a minority of people in Wyoming, but it, it just portrays one part of the state and not the big picture. And, you know, obviously she's a writer, she has creative license, she can do, she can write about whatever she wants to, right? I mean, I just wish that there had been, like... I wish I had felt more empathy um, in other stories aside from Brokeback Mountain or felt more connected to it instead of just looking back on my job that I had in um, substance abuse prevention and suicide prevention and connecting what I saw in that job with some of the stories in this book. Again, not trying to deny that my state has a terrible problem with alcohol. Um, tobacco and other drugs, as well as suicide, um, but, but that, like, that's not everyone, that's not all of us, I guess, so, anyway, so seeing, seeing the thing about Matthew Shepard, um, again, I, I think, I think that the people in Wyoming were really afraid when that happened, that the rest of the world would view our state, or, or Laramie, in that kind of light, that we were, you know, these brutal people. I can't completely like just pitch this book because I think Brokeback Mountain is so important, but I would pitch the rest of it. <laughs> if, you, if you do want to read a book about Wyoming, and obviously I've made lots of recommendations about Wyoming related books, but The Meadow by James Galvin is a really, really wonderful book. Um, and it again portrays kind of the rural lifestyle. This is much more balanced. It's so beautiful. The landscape is is truly the main character, I would think, in the book. 
Um, but it's, and I'm not saying like it gives you this like a hundred percent positive, like it's not like a glowing story about Wyoming. It's a story, it's a story about people who happen to live here and it's beautiful. It's just really, really wonderful. So I would recommend this, um, as an alternative, I guess, to close range. So had a really hard time with it. All right. Thank you for indulging Thank me. Thank you guys so much and um, have a great weekend. Talk to you soon.